So the conventional uh, paradigm would have to somehow come up with the, uh, the, the flight characteristics in various places uh, to bring them to where they are. Yeah, and it's got to get all of them, right? It's got to be light. It's got to have a big wing surface. It's got to have some kind of flapping ability. Mm, sure. All that sort of thing has to be all in place before they can start flying. Now, they might, and the, and the hypothesis is, you know, they start on trees and they jump off and they start as gliders, and then they learn how to flap their wings and then keep themselves up off the ground. But, yeah, flight's a complicated thing. It's an amazing And even thing. when you look at an insect, uh, radically different, of course, from a, you know, from a bird, I've often thought just how complex a mosquito is, that he has the ability to fly and land, to detect its target, to recognize a threat. All of that built in a tiny uh, little creature. A tiny little creature that barely has a brain, right? Barely <laughs> has a brain. And somehow it can do all those things and still fly.